everybody, we are back at Knott's Berry Farm. We are here on a cold, chilly day, which is actually quite nice, but we're also here on the day that everything's been announced in terms of entertainment for the Boysenberry Festival coming up March 18th. So I thought I'd do a quick little video, show you around uh, some of the locations of some of the entertainment you can expect. We'll do separate videos on the event itself, obviously, as well as food, tastings. I know that's for a lot of people the thing they're most interested in, but we thought, let's talk about the entertainment since we're here at the park today anyway. So the event itself runs March 18th through April 24th. It is running daily, uh, which is pretty awesome. You can expect some big spring break crowds in there, though, so be ready for that. Uh, the tasting card, six tastings for $50 for regular guests or $45 is a $5 discount if you are a pass holder now as i said this video is going to be about the entertainment I did want to highlight there's a lot of food every year there's a lot of food this year and you know technically we didn't get a boysenberry festival last year even though it kind of felt like we did with their tasting event um but so really 2020 it got canceled right before i think it was like two weeks we came to the boysenberry festival media tasting thing and then like a couple days later everything got shut down and so uh this is kind of the big return actually from 2019 uh, that Boysenberry Festival is coming back in full uh, mode. And there's a lot coming. Some things, crab sushi roll with boysenberry aioli, chicken dumplings with a boysenberry wonton and teriyaki dipping sauce, boysenberry horchata, chicken cordon bleu with boysenberry cheese sauce, deconstructed lemonade with blackberries, loganberries, and red raspberries, boysenberry rocky road brownies, uh, boysenberry slushy mudslide, that's alcoholic, and boysenberry sweet tea with vodka. Those are just a couple things off of the list. There's a huge list. You can check it out on our website over at parksandcons.com or over on any of Knott's uh, social media as well. So just some quick plugs there from the logistics. So with that said, let's start making our way around the park and show you a little bit of what you can expect from Boysenberry Festival 2022. All right, we'll start out over here at what will be called Boysenberry Lane. So if you came out for Mary Farm, you might remember that these gates over here uh, next to Ghost Rider uh, were opened up for a whole extra area photo ops, um, some really great decorations, and then of course food and drink. And so this time around, I think it'll be home though. We're focusing this video all about the entertainment, but I think the booth uh, will have a number one booth for a lot of people, which is the Boysenberry Meatballs with mashed potatoes. So I want to point out, don't miss Boysenberry Lane. We know a lot of people skip by this area during Mary Farms. So they didn't realize it was open over here. Make that quick left towards Ghost Rider and you'll be able to pass right through these uh, gates over here. You can never beat the ghost town streets any time of year, but Boysenberry Festival, there will be over 30 different vendors here, artisans doing all sorts of cool displays and uh, just providing their really cool, unique uh, art pieces as well. So definitely make sure to check that out and see all these local sellers of their wares. The stable will return once again, so it'll move from Pigpen's Pigpen to Old McDonald's Farm. And so that will be available for kids to check out the animals for the adults as well, the horses, all of that. So another fun stop on the Boysenberry Trail. Returning for Boysenberry Festival is the world famous Birdcage Theater with the Riverboat Revenge Melodramas. The melodramas, if you've not seen before, are super fun. Uh, real over the top acting, I mean, just like the old melodramas. And it's a great fit to have it in the historic Birdcage Theater. So uh, it's an all new comedy this time around. So I know that's gonna be, honestly, it's gonna be one of the top uh, on our list in terms of the entertainment side of things. Right across from the Birdcage Theater, Fireman's Barbecue. They have been very consistent about having entertainment out there all through even the slower parts of the season. And that will continue with the Boysenberry Festival where you'll be able to find nightly music, uh, really day and night uh, throughout the entire season. And over at Town Hall, they are gonna be showing once again the history of the Boysenberry. And so tying into Knott's history and uh, where the Boysenberry fits, what kind of brings us this celebration in the first place. Everybody loves the big stage shows here at Knott's and that will continue again this Boysenberry Festival with the Snoopy's Boysenberry Jamboree taking over the Calico Mine stage here. Uh, this will be the biggest show of the season. It definitely will be a packed area. They got a lot of seating out here for the uh, peanut celebration version. We'll imagine that will continue, but definitely one to get to early to grab a seat. It's super cute, super fun, and super high energy. If you head down memory lane, you'll find the art show returning for Boys Bear Festival all tied up in knots over at the factory store. Uh, we really love these art shows. If you've not checked one out before, highly, highly recommend it. The art is all limited time. It's by a variety of different artists in the local area. I believe there's uh, over 35 that are participating this time around. It's always incredible to see what they come up with. And it seems like no matter what time of year, someone finds a way to get a little bit of scary farm in there. Even if it is Boys and Berries summer, Mary Farm, whatever it might be. So we'll be on the lookout for that, of course. 
The Boardwalk Ballroom will return once again. It'll be the not totally tubular 80s dance party. Uh, and pretty much exactly as it sounds, a retro dance party taking over the evenings uh, in the location here. Also right adjacent to that, you've got the Boardwalk Barbecue where there will also be live music in the evenings. I should say at this point too, remember that everything obviously subject to change, staffing, all of that. So I know that some of these uh, may not run on weekdays. There may be some changes along the way. Always check the Knots app ahead of time if there's any particular performance that you're on the lookout for. Returning to the Fiesta stage, Mariachis and Angelitas will be playing uh, dur during Boys and Berry Festival season. They are such great performers, absolutely fantastic. You cannot miss. Um, really one of our favorite things all of not summer nights. There's a lot of things we love about summer nights. Uh, and I remember posting on social like hoping they come back for Boysenberry and they're back for Boysenberry. So we'll see them on this stage. Again, times may vary, days may vary, but watch for them. And if you can all make one of their shows, make sure to do it. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. We hope you have enjoyed this little bit of preview of some of the things to come with Boysbury Festival. We'll be back for a lot of Boysbury Festival. Uh, actually, we have a media tasting a week or so before the event starts. So watch the channel for that, some previewing food, things like that. And uh, in general, just lots of fun distractions. If distractions from the real world are your thing, that is our specialty. We are addicted to it. Please follow along with us. Uh, if you'll do us a few favors, like the video if you haven't already, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and please share it somewhere and let people know about the stuff that we do. So with that said, we are wrapping up here for this preview of Boys and Berry Festival 2022. Until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere.